Well, hey, howdy, hello. It's been a while since I did any stretching and strengthening. I thought I would uh, see if you'd like to join me. Invite you to do a little of whatever feels good in your body. While I do a little chicken in with my hand. I'll scooch that back just a little bit. Ah, start with just a little unwinding. Ah, letting the arms swing. And then I'm going to bring my attention into the bottoms of my feet. Root myself into the center of the earth. Check in with the spine. Hang myself from the sky. Take a nice roll down, just checking in all along the way, seeing where it's supple, where it's sticky, where it's stiff. Ah, coming all the way down past the waist to the hips. And just hanging here, letting go of the head, letting go of the shoulders. <clears throat> Then I'm going to pull up from the waist, pulling back in the abdomen, up in the pelvic floor, left elbow over right, pulling the shoulder blades apart, just giving myself a nice hug, squeezing the shoulders, rounding the spine. <sighs> Releasing all that again from the hips. All the way down, just letting go, stretching, shaking it out. And then again, this time right elbow over left, pulling back in the abdomen, up in the pelvic floor, pulling my shoulder blades apart. Giving them a nice squeeze. Got lots of soreness in there. And then releasing that again from the hips. All the way down, relaxing the belly, relaxing the back, relaxing the arms, relaxing the shoulders. I use my hands on my head for just a little bit of extra weight sometimes. <sighs> and then let's roll back up, still just checking in with the spine. Hmm, I'm going to come into a bit of a counter stretch, lifting the chest, lifting the eyes, still just letting the arms relax and hang from wherever they are. Ah, coming back to neutral. I got a stiff neck from wearing my helmet all day yesterday. Ah. <laughs> It's good to shake it out. Let's do another forward fold, this time with a relatively flat back again from the hips. Just swan diving down, all the way down to hang one more time from the hips. Shake it out a little bit, come over toward the left. A little twist and then over to the right for a little twist. And then back, I'm going to bend the knees, swing the arms back. Coming into a bit of a counter stretch, pushing the hips forward. And just releasing all of that. Ah, let's do a little lunging, stepping back first with the left. Pulling that back hip forward, forward hip back, looking for a relatively perpendicular line with the hips, parallel lines with the feet, checking that this front knee is not crunching past those toes, pushing into that back hip. Ah, I'm just going to enjoy this lunge for a breath or so. I've been doing my stretches for a couple days and I'm feeling it, plus I went and pushed a mountain around yesterday, so I'm pretty stiff. It's all good. Just wiggle around a little bit, kind of sinking into that lunge. And then I'm going to shift this back heel forward onto the perpendicular line, opening the hips now, swinging this 
knee out, opening this hip this way, checking out the side plane. I'm going to slide that back heel out a little bit more, bending from the hip, coming into a side twisting triangle. Scooch over a little bit, find the room in here, and then lifting that left arm, gazing up past those fingertips. Ah, enjoying a nice deep lunge. And then I'm going to add a little more twisting, bringing this arm around the back to reach for this opposite thigh. Gazing out past that long leg, giving all those organs a nice gentle wringing out. Little hello. Good morning, twist. Ah. I'm going to unwind all of that and bring this arm down on the inside of this front leg. Shifting onto that back heel, bringing weight onto both hands, and then bringing this front foot back to meet the back foot, pressing through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone into the back of the head, or towards the back of the head, pushing into those heels. Let's tread those a little bit, pushing more into the left, pushing more into the right, and again, pushing into the left. Pushing into the right, pushing into both heels again, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. Ah. I'm going to swing the body forward, lifting the chest through the shoulders, keeping the legs together, letting the belly just drop, lifting the eyes and the chest, relaxing the front of the body. I like to keep the elbows in close to the body as possible. Keeping those legs together behind will help protect the low back. And then lifting those hips, pushing back again through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone, pushing into those heels. And then swinging that front Left leg forward again in between the hands for a nice deep lunge. And then we're going to step forward with the back foot, hanging here again in a forward fold. Ah. Just releasing from the hips. Bend the knees, swinging the arms back, coming into that counter stretch again, lifting the chest, lifting the eyes, pushing the hips forward, and coming back to neutral. Shake all that out. Ah. We step back with the right foot into a moderate lunge, again, pulling the back hip forward, forward hip back, tipping the tailbone under, pushing into that back heel. Checking that this front knee is not crunching past the toes. Looking for a nice deep lunge. Just enjoying that. Bring the arms behind the back and do a little counter stretching while I'm here. Releasing that. And keep sliding that back foot back further and further on the toe. <laughs> Forgot which way I was going. I'm going to bring this left arm down on the inside of the left leg, shifting that back foot onto the perpendicular line, coming into a twisting side triangle, lifting that right arm to gaze past those fingertips, and then bringing that around the back side to reach for this back thigh. Try not to collapse the supporting side. I'll just slide that back foot out a little bit more. Make sure my front knee isn't crunching past those toes. And then enjoying the nice squeeze to all the organs in this direction. <sighs> Unwind that and bring this arm on the inside of the left leg, shifting onto that back toe, and then 
bringing weight onto the hands, bringing that front foot back to meet the back foot, pressing through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, pushing into those heels. <sighs> pushing the heart toward the center of the earth. I'm going to swing the body forward, lifting the chest through the shoulders, keeping those legs together, letting the belly just drop, <sighs> lifting the eyes and the chest, getting a nice stretch through the belly. I like to rock on the toes a little bit, just vary that stretch up, and then lifting the hips, pushing back through the palms, through the spine, tipping the tailbone, pressing into those heels. <sighs> Swinging that right foot forward into a nice deep lunge. Ah, and then stepping forward with that back foot. Again, hang here and forward fold from the hips. Letting go of the head. Let's just roll up nice and slow, stacking one vertebra on the next. Shaking that out. Shake it, shake it, shake it out. Shake it off. Mm, let's do some little circles with the arms. Doing lots of typing and desk sitting. It's good to just stretch out those little bones. Go the other way. Let's do shoulder circles. And the other way, breathing in and the way up. circles with the arms. stickiness and stagnation. Let's do one more big breath in. <sighs> Just a letting go of the past like it was yesterday. I've been doing my clap snaps. My hands are still swollen, so I'm just going to give them a little, a little love. Let's do a full body check. Speaking of love, just starting with some taps up top. I like to use fingertips, just gently. It's a good way to dissipate stagnant energy and just check in with the whole body's energy. And then using two or four fingers, I'm going to tap gently around the eyes, temples, under the eyes, above the sinuses there. And then come down below the nose, above the upper lip. With two or four fingers again, just gently. And then under the chin, same thing, gently with two or four fingers. See what feels good. And then I like to use all the fingertips on the chest. This is a good way to help dissipate anxiety or stress. If you got any of that, and also just to help bring awareness into the body, bring the whole body together. Do some smoothing down the arms. Again, I'm just checking in with the whole body, bringing it cohesively all together and letting it know that I love it. Let's do some 
checking down the chest, down the torso, checking in with all the organs, giving the spine a little love. Do a little drum check down here into the lower back, pelvis, checking in with the hips. I'm going to roll on down. Actually, I guess I'm doing a flat back, slow bend. However works for you. I'm just checking in with the body, checking in with the thighs and the knees and the shins and the ankles, checking in with the toes, giving the ankles a squeeze on the back now, checking in with the backs of the calves, backs of the knees rolling on up, checking in with the hamstrings and the butt, back up the back. I'm going to smooth up the face and down the back. <sighs> Again, just bringing the body all together. <sighs> Letting go of stresses. can at least set them down for a little while and pick them back up later if you want. But in my experience, there will be more stresses on the way. A squirrel in your kitchen. It's a good example of a potential stress. I bet the squirrel's probably even more stressed than you are. I hope, hope everybody gets through that okay. Sounds exciting. It's good to see you, Lisa. I hope you remember to take care of you. I wish you a fantastic day as usual. Mm -hmm. Remember to breathe and smile. Let go of some stress if you can. Do a little dance if you got one in you. Shake stuff off. Remember you are worthy of your own unconditional love. First, foremost, always and always. I will be seeing you. Ciao for now.